Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at the My Clipboard feature on federalregister.gov, part of the My Federal Register section. When we relaunched federalregister.gov, one of our goals was to make the user experience more customizable. And the My Clipboard feature is another step towards that goal. The My Clipboard feature will allow you to save documents to a clipboard for later review, as well as organize those clippings into various folders to make your research easier. Right now I'm on an environment page on federalregister.gov and you can see in the top right hand corner that I'm not yet signed in as well as an icon saying that I have not yet clipped any documents. That's this red flag and the red zero here. So we're going to start by looking at an endangered and threatened species suggested search and we'll go to the first article on the list. So you look on the right hand side here we now have a flag icon. This will be present on every article page as well as search results, allowing you to save these documents for later. If I hover over the icon, I get a list of all the folders currently available to me. Right now I'm a non-logged in user, so the only folder available is my clipboard. I'm going to go ahead and add this document to there. I get a green check mark uh, telling me that that item was successfully saved, as well as our count at the top of the page has increased. I'm going to go back to our suggested search and I'm going to customize this search. Today I'm going to be looking for salmon articles. I'm going to add that to our search here. When I get my results back, I'm going to resort them by newest because that's what I'm interested in today. So here we see the article I clipped a moment ago. I've got an orange icon indicating that it's in at least one folder. If I hover over, I can see that it is indeed in my clipboard. So I'm going to scroll down the list here a little bit and I'm going to add a few more items to my clipboard for later review. And now I'm ready to see what's in my clipboard. There are a number of different ways to get to your clipboard. One would be to click on the icons here on the top right hand corner or to use the main navigation. See now I'm on my clipboard. I've got the four clippings in there from earlier as well as a friendly reminder that these clippings aren't permanently saved because I'm not logged in. They'll persist as long as I keep my browser open or I don't reset my browser, uh, but they won't be saved permanently and they're not available from, say, another browser or from another computer. So we scroll down. You can see we've got document icons for each of our clippings. We've got a final rule, a proposed rule, and I also clipped two notices as well as the title of the articles and some metadata about the article, like publication date, pages, the agencies that publish them. And on the far right hand side, we've got some metadata about our clippings. And as you can see here, because we're not logged in, these haven't yet been permanently saved. I'm going to look at these and realize that my third one on the list isn't one that I want to reveal later. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. So you see a little bit of the man management features available even before you register as a user. Now I'm ready to actually save these permanently, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. I created an account a little bit earlier. The sign up process still only requires an email and a password. So now once I've signed in, I get a nice little message saying that the three clippings that were in my temporary storage have been permanently saved for me. This is a very nice feature. If I forget to log in and I'm working, I won't lose the work that I've already started. Now as a logged in user, I have a few more options and things I want to do. Uh, I can move these items into another folder because I know I'm going to do a little bit of financial research later. I'm going to put these into an endangered species folder. See that I get a green for created, gets added to my list, and those documents are moved over there. So now I have no items in my clipboard and three in my endangered species folder. I can go and view that endangered species folder. It tells me a little bit of data about the folder, when I created it, as well as showing me the items in there. I can also just create a folder here we'll create a new folder called salmon. Nothing was added to that folder because I did not check anything off on the side. 
And now if I go back to my search results and search for salmon as a logged in user, that folder is going to be available to me there on the search results. So again, I have my flags. If I were to add, want to add this one to the salmon folder, I can go ahead and do that. Again, a green check mark means it's been added. Going to add a second one to our salmon folder. I've now got two. Another little feature, once you've clipped an item to a folder, if you hover back over that item, you'll get two new icons. You'll get a red X that allows you to remove that icon from the folder so that you don't need to go back to your clippings area to manage them, or a green icon that will take me right to that folder. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this document, and then I'm going to use the green icon here to go to the folder. And you see I got the one uh, clipping in my folder here. So that's a brief overview of the new My Clipboard feature on federalregister.gov. We hope that you find it useful, and we're excited to continue to add new features to this section. Thank you.